Welcome to episode 240 of the HRC Marathon Training Vlog. And Kate here with Yon, Danny Hub, Ryan, Cole, Haven, and Evan. And don't forget about Alfredo. It's an awesome Saturday morning over here at Peter's Canyon Regional Park. And we're gonna get in seven miles of recovery and pop it off with some hill sprints at the end. We're gonna freshen up our legs so that we're ready to get in some quality work tomorrow on the long run. And on the docket we have a continuous marathon pace workout for tomorrow. So it's gonna be kind of tough for Cole, a little bit easier one for Yon and Brian and, uh, and Danny Hung, but we're gonna get it done. All right, let's freshen up these legs, get ready for tomorrow's marathon pace run. All right, let's go. Haven, you've been putting in some really good work this past week, preparing for your February marathon. So many people have really encouraged and supported you so well on the channel. Anything you want to say to them? Thank you so much for supporting me. Evan, how much core work do you do every day? Uh, not much. Do you do less than or more than an hour? Less than. <laughs> do you do less than or more than 30 minutes? Less than. Less than? Okay. So it's really little. Yes. Maybe like 40 crunches and a minute and a half of planks. Yeah. Evan typically does a core routine of three to four hundred repetitions of various movements that work all different areas of the abdominals. She also typically did various plank exercises in order to improve her core, including her back and shoulders and upper body. But now we are building back up from ground zero. So we don't pick up from where we left off of back at her peak when she was training core super hard and had very, very strong muscles in her core, her back, her shoulders, her abdominals, her upper hips. Getting started with a core routine can be pretty intimidating, especially when you choose like super tough core routines online. On top of that, it's kind of nerve wracking and stressful because we're afraid that we're going to be sore for our run the next day if we go too hard with the core routine. A really good hack is simply to do a progression like Evan's doing. She's only doing 40 crunches and two sets of 30 second planks. So there isn't going to be any doms or muscle soreness afterwards. And she's comfortable for her workouts the next day. She's slowly building up her core strength. And we're going to steadily increase the load as the weeks go by, not as the days go by. So a really good hack is to stay on a core routine for an entire week and don't increase the intensity, don't increase the reps or the load until the following week. It'll only take about five or six weeks for Evan to start being able to do core routines where she's struggling to finish. However, she won't be sore the next day. Five or six weeks is not too late for us because she's racing in nine weeks. So always keeping a timeline in the back of your mind and planning accordingly will really help you to integrate new aspects into your training to make your running even better 
than before. Hey, Danny Hung, have you been doing core work recently? Yeah, I do a routine about two or three times a week. What do you think about upgrading that to six times a week? Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Okay, let's do it. Get to work. Hey, hey uh, Johan, do you do a core routine? Yeah, uh, I do every morning mobility exercise, like to wake up my body. And every evening I do proprioception exercises, like to work, to push my body to work in the space and to have like real good references. Good, That's yes. very interesting. It really helps to improve stability in the, the exact kind of the exactly. fine the muscles. balance yeah. the balance stability sure that's and awesome yeah to prevent injuries okay maybe um you could share some of those uh, movements with our subscribers by putting them in the comments below definitely oh thank you thank you, thank you. <laughs> Cole how's the core work going for you oh it's been going good. What have you been doing? I've been doing some crunches and planks. Okay, so about how many minutes would you invest per workout? Uh, one core workout will usually last me around maybe about five minutes. Okay, and then how often are you doing it per week? Uh, right now it's about like four times a week. Awesome, so you're doing a little bit at school, a little bit at home? Yes. Awesome. How about um, extending that to five times per week and maybe six to seven minutes of time visit. What do you say about, what do you say to that? That sounds good. All right, sounds good. You have nine weeks until the Ventura Marathon, so then you can do eight weeks of good core workouts up until then. All right? Yep. All right, let's do it. Hey, Brian, how often do you do core workouts per week? So about four times. Four times per week? Yeah. And how many minutes do you spend for each core workout? It's about eight, eight minutes, five minutes. Five to eight minutes? Yeah. Awesome, that's a lot. Hey Brian, what do you think about doing it five times per week? Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I want to do it. Let's go, let's, yeah. do, let's do it. So don't be afraid to get out of your comfort zone. Everyone in AHRC is committing to improving on their core routines and so can you let's all improve our running together by picking some low-hanging fruit and improving our strength improving our resilience and improving our running form through the development of our core muscles thanks for all the love hrc fam like this video, give the algorithm a boost, smash that subscribe button. It really helps the channel a ton. Don't forget, you can follow me on Strava by searching for Mike Kim at All Heart RC and join our Strava Club by searching for AHRC. We're also on Instagram at All Heart RC. Visit us there for your daily dose of 30 second motivation. Thanks for coming with us all the way to the end of this run. I can tell it's gonna be a great day. I hope you have a great day and a meaningful run. We'll see you in the next one. All right, bye now. Alfredo! Yeah. Hi! My. <laughs> you never called me, Alfredo! Yeah.
Yeah, well, <laughs> I'm running 25 miles daily. Oh, uh, I see, I see. Yeah. Well, we can run together today. Today I'm going for 10. Nice. 